What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I partnered with Samsung to show you my brand new setup. You've probably seen some of this tech already on my channel, like the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but I wanna show you what the ultimate Samsung setup looks like with the brand new Smart Monitor M8. This is definitely something you need to look into because it's much more than just a monitor. You don't even need a computer for productivity because it has Microsoft 365 built in. You can connect a keyboard and mouse directly to the monitor so you're ready to go. You also have remote access capabilities, so this is perfect for a work from home setup. And you don't even need wires if you don't want them. Just use DeX for a wireless desktop interface with Samsung smartphones or tablets, wirelessly cast from a laptop or smartphone, including AirPlay support for Macs. So we got a lot to talk about. Let's just jump right in. Last year, I took a look at the Smart Monitor M7 and it was a great option for a clean budget setup. And while it does share a lot of similarities, the Smart Monitor M8 takes everything great about the M7 and just elevates it. This is a 32 inch 4K monitor with a matte finish and I love the updated and fresh design. It looks modern and minimal and I'm really digging the look. It's 11.4 millimeters at its thinnest point so it's noticeably thinner than the M7. It has a nice herringbone texture on the back to give it that premium look and the overall aesthetic is so clean. It comes in four different colors so it matches your home decor. This is the daylight blue model and it's very subtle so it matches up nicely with my setup. But it also comes in warm white, sunset pink, or spring green so you can choose which one that you like best. I'll leave a link down below so you can check them out and also check current pricing. I think they're even doing a $100 Samsung credit deal right now so I would jump on that before it's gone. The unboxing experience is a good one because you get everything that you need in the box. You get the stand included, which comes with two pieces. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver to join them. You can raise the monitor up and down as well, which is really nice. And you can also tilt the monitor slightly to get that angle that you need. You get the power brick and it's a pretty sizable one. And you also get the power cord. You get a few cables too, a USB-C cord, and also a micro HDMI cord to HDMI. Not sure why they chose this input, but you get that and two USB-C inputs on the back of the monitor for connectivity. Also, you get this slim fit camera included. The installation is really cool. There's a small USB adapter that comes in the box and then you just magnetically attach it to the back of the monitor and that's it. It even extends so you can move the camera around to adjust the angle and it blends into the design so I don't mind it at all. But if you don't need it, you can just take it right off or there is a magnetic cover so you can ensure privacy. The camera also supports auto framing like features like you saw on the Tab S8 Ultra. This is a nice feature to have so it will follow you around while you move. I think this is a major win that a camera comes with the monitor in the box. It also comes with the remote as well and maybe you're wondering why it comes with one. And the best way to explain the Smart Monitor M8 is they did a genius thing and they combined the traditional monitor with their TV experience so you don't have to choose, you get the best of both worlds. So if this is your only display, let's say in a college dorm room, then you have all of the streaming services that you need like Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Prime Video, and so much more. This monitor has Wi-Fi built in and looks a lot like their TV interface. So if you've used a Samsung TV in the past then you'll have no problem getting adjusted. The remote is nice because it has a few shortcuts for popular streaming services and also has a shortcut for Samsung TV Plus. This is cool because I personally don't have cable and there are a lot of free TV channels here. So if you haven't checked this out, then you definitely need to. I've been checking out Moon Knight and it's looking great on here. It's kind of dangerous because it can mess up my productivity, but what's great is there is a picture in picture feature and it's customizable with sizing. So my favorite thing to do is catch up on some content or TV shows and scroll through my Twitter timeline that's wirelessly projected from my smartphone. So I've been thoroughly enjoying this since you can't do this on a traditional monitor. There are so many reasons why the Samsung Smart Monitor M8 makes sense for a desk setup. If you have a laptop, then it's really easy to connect the monitor via USB-C or HDMI. It's plug and play, and I love the Auto Source Switch Plus feature where it detects the new source and applies the right settings. It works great as a 4K 60 Hz monitor, and at 32 inches, it's a perfect size in my opinion. If you wanna add some console gaming or PC gaming, you can definitely do that. This wasn't meant to be a gaming monitor, but you can definitely game on it. There is a game mode built in to reduce latency and increase responsiveness. So as you can see, this is the Swiss army knife of monitors. What I love about this monitor is you can keep your desk nice and clean because you really don't need wires if you don't want them. The screen sharing option is great and you can easily do this on a Samsung laptop like I have here just by hitting the connect button from the taskbar. It's super easy. But if you have a Mac, then it's just as simple. You just go here, 
you hit screen mirroring and it's as easy as that. Also, you can do this with any smartphone, including the iPhone as well, the exact same way. Or if you have a Samsung smartphone, then you can just tap the side of the monitor and it prompts you for tap view. There's so many options to choose from and it's awesome. But if you want to use your Samsung smartphone to its full potential, then you can pair the Smart Monitor M8 wired via USB-C or even easier, wireless decks. This will wirelessly cast a desktop interface to your monitor and you can use the smartphone as a trackpad, but I would recommend a Bluetooth mouse and a keyboard like I have here. This is the Logitech MX Master 3 that I've been using for a while. I love the ergonomics and shortcut buttons on the side. And this one here is an Amazon find, a compact white wireless mechanical keyboard with a sweet blue backlight. What do you think about this one? If you want a bigger DeX experience, you can use it with the Tab S8 Ultra. I still continue to believe that DeX is so underrated. I love that DeX has a file manager to keep track of everything. And even if you don't subscribe to Microsoft Office, you can totally be productive with Google's offerings. I use Google Docs a lot. So this monitor has a ton of potential if you're the Samsung ecosystem. But even if you own iPhones and MacBooks, it's still a great experience because the Smart Monitor M8 is so versatile. It doesn't end there because if you're a fan of smart home like I am, then you'll be very happy because there is a Samsung SmartThings hub built into this monitor. So if you're familiar with SmartThings, it's compatible with a ton of smart home brands and you can add them right from the monitor and control them through the SmartThings panel. And as you can see, I have my smart home connected so I can see everything from my TVs to my smart kitchen. I can even look inside my fridge from my garage apartment if I wanted to. I can get notifications right on the monitor if let's say my fridge door is left open when my dishwasher is done, you get the idea. And I can even control my desk lighting setup if I wanted to right from here. I have a light strip back here so I can just hit it and you can see that it comes on or I can do it by voice assistant. Turn on office desk light strip. Boom. What's awesome is if you aren't familiar with Bixby, then you can change it to Amazon Alexa so you do have choices. This actually gives you a ton of voice functions like on the Fire TV where you can open Prime Video, play music, or control content with Alexa like play, pause, fast forward. And you can even use this Smart Monitor M8 as your primary smart home hub because the monitor does not have to be on so you can wake it with the voice command. So if you want to control your entire smart home with this monitor, you totally can with the built-in Farfield microphones. And another thing that's awesome is just like their TVs, if you wanna add Zigbee devices, then you can add the SmartThings dongle. So you can definitely use this to build your ultimate smart home or smart office. So to wrap up, I wanna talk about the quality of the display. It's a matte display and it does a good job of reducing glare. The 4K display looks good. It covers 99% of sRGB and supports HDR10+. The first thing that I noticed as soon as I turned it on is how much brighter it was than the M7. I think it has about 100 nits more brightness, so it definitely helps in bright conditions like this, and it also has better viewing angles. It also has adaptive picture available, so it will control the brightness and color temperature automatically so you don't have to mess with it. But just like having a TV, you're able to set the different picture modes and customize the picture however you want it. And what's nice is as soon as you plug in your laptop or monitor, it remembers your settings so you have more accurate colors when you want them. And then when you want to just watch a movie, you can have a different picture profile for vibrant colors and deeper contrast. And since the monitor remembers the settings by input, you don't really even have to think about it. There are built-in speakers on the back. It's nice that they're included and for regular day-to-day -day use, they are just fine. They don't have a ton of range because the monitor is so thin, but you do have quick options of adding Bluetooth speakers and it's right in the settings menu so it's easy to do. And one more thing, just in case you misplace the remote, there is a knob on the lower side of the monitor so you can navigate the interface. So I appreciate that because with my kids running around, remotes disappear about once a month. So I wanna know, what do you think of the Samsung Smart Monitor M8? Is it exactly what you were looking for in a monitor? Let me know in the comment section below because at $700, it is priced higher than last year's M7, but you do get a better panel, a built-in camera, a new design, smart home hub, and so much more. Everything you need is included in the box so you'll be ready to go right away. And it pairs so well with other Samsung products and even Apple products. So let me know what you think about the setup Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe for a lot more desk setups like this one, and I will see you in the next one. Hey Bixby, turn off the monitor.